Welcome to TechyJack. In this video, we are going to see how to restrict the IIS website for a particular IP or you can restrict it for all and allow only few IPs for more security. If you have any internal web app or CRM that you want to allow only from on-premises, you can apply the option to deny all and allow only a few IP to secure your application. So let's jump to the server and get started. So right now we are on our server and if we open the IIS here we have our website that is testingo.in if I try to browse it with the HTTPS you can see the website is opening it can be your website or your internal application or your CRM where you want to restrict it with the IP so if we go to the IIS and inside this testingo.in right now we cannot see any IP and domain restriction here so we have to install that feature first so let me minimize this and I will close this and we will go to the add roles and features click on next next again select the server from the pool we have only the one server right now and inside the IIS here we have this web server expand this web server and inside the security you can see one of nine installed expand this and here we have this IP and domain restrictions just check this and proceed with next next again and we will install this IP and domain restrictions if you see right now there is no IP and domain restrictions so that's why we are installing this and after this installation we will see the IP and domain restrictions inside our IIS so let's wait for the installation now the installation has been done let me close this I will minimize this let's close the IIS as well and we will reopen it I will expand this our sites this is our testing or dot in and now here you can see that IP address and domain restrictions are there if we click on this here you can see that you can use this feature to restrict or grant access to the web content on IP address or domain name basis and set the restriction in the order of priority if we see the add deny entry you can enter the specific IP address or IP address range to deny this website on those IPs if I try to type my own IP that is 192.168.12.100 and we'll click on OK and if you see this edit feature settings here you can allow or deny if I say allow the website will be allowed you can see we are able to open the website but if we go and edit this feature settings and here we see the deny and the deny action type you can set here unauthorized or forbidden let's select the forbidden and we'll click on OK now if we try to refresh it you can see the forbidden access is denied you do not have permission to view this directory or page for example if you have any internal CRM or a internal application which you want to open only the inside the organization or your branch office you can just allow those IPs and rest of the IP you can deny you can deny all the IPs and allow only the few IPs let's do that let me delete this entry I will remove this entry so our website is opening again we have deleted the entry and you can see we can open the website so in order to make it secure what you can do you can deny all and open few so we can add a deny entry and IP address range we can select here 0.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0 and mask 255.255.255.254 click on ok and if we edit the rule we can select deny we can click on ok if we refresh it you can see the forbidden access is denied and if you want to change the action type you can say unauthorized and click on ok now you can see the unauthorized access is denied due to invalid credentials so now this website is blocked for all like no one can open this website 
it will give this error 401 you do not have permission so now we want it to open only on our on premises and in our branch office so now our website is not opening anywhere if I try to open it from other location let's say you can see the unauthorized access so now what we have to do we have to create a allow entry and for the allow entry we will type the address that is our local address 12.100 click on ok and edit feature we can select the allow and you have to view the order list you can see the deny is at the top if we will refresh it it's not opening what we have to do you have to select this and move it to the upside allow entry has a number one and the deny is a second one so the rule will apply like it will allow this IP and will deny the all try to open the site you can see the website is opening on this IP so this IP is allowed that's why it is opening in this IP otherwise it will be restricted on any other IP if we try it on another IP it is showing unauthorized access let's try to connect the machine on Azure this is my Azure machine you can see it is showing unauthorized access so the IP of my machine is this 65 52 57 and 27 so let's try to allow this IP on our IIS so we will do it again we will go to the IP address and domain restrictions we will add an allow entry and we will specify the IP address that is 65.52.57.27 we'll click on ok so this IP is there and again we have to go to the order list and we have to move it to the above the deny you have to put that allow entry above the deny entry let's try so this is our IP this is our Azure machine and let me refresh it you can see now the website is open on this IP as well so by this way you can restrict your website or any application to open only on the allowed IP I hope the video was informative let's meet in the next video thanks for watching if you enjoy this video and want to see more don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content